help grow the industry and transform our other industries by adopting ICT solutions. <coughs> we see the development of electronic games as a key part of Queensland Government's push uh, to uh, ICT. In July 2003, the Premier announced an interactive games industry package, committing $800,000 over four years to support the development of that sector. This package was uh, expected to, be, to uh, put Queensland at the forefront of the Australian Games Development Industry, ensuring smart state companies have the skills and international exposure they need to increase their share of the global games market. The total of your industry is now worth more than the international box office. <laughs> Australian games developers are making a serious impact in the growing global games marketplace. So it's important that we continue to use our local talent to generate local products rather than the new contractors for the world. I'm proud to say that Queensland has an enviable history in electronic game development with a number of international hits, including Pro Studios, Tide, the Tasmanian Tiger franchise, Boring Star. Rain and Wildfire Studios online number one tumblebugs, obviously grazing a daughter on this down on I think these are all boy games, aren't they? Uh, the past success indeed has established Queensland as the epicenter of game development in Australia and has led to a landmark year for local developers. Christmas 2006 will see more than eight Queensland made games on international shelves, including blockbusters such as the Creative Assembly's Medieval 2, Total War, Pandemic Studios, Destroy All Humans 2. I'm forward to this. <laughs> <laughs> I made no bones about basing the Queensland is the heart and soul of Australia's electronic games industry, and uh, we are simply, quite simply, booming. Employment at Queensland Studios has grown 60% in the last two years alone and now exceeds 600 people. Chrome is both Queensland's and Australia's largest games developer and after uh, recent expansion into Adelaide and Melbourne, it's now one of the largest independent studios in the world and we've won 300 staff, 225 of those here in Queensland. I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate Chrome uh, on its bold move to absorb the struggling studios in Melbourne and Adelaide, and uh, this Queensland company is not only securing a solid future for the industry in the smart state, it's also ensured the long term futures of the staff in Victoria and South Australia. And uh, welcome also to the delegates from across the country, the Asian Pacific region, and the world to uh, this very best part of Australia. I must also say that uh, Queensland Government's trade and investment offices in Shanghai and Seoul have been particularly busy recruiting delegates for gain and conflict and have facilitated, I understand, attendance of representatives from one Korean and uh, six Chinese games publishing and development companies. A special welcome to those people here to the conference as well. Of a uh, fantastic breath, here in uh, Queensland we have uh, a fantastic uh, breath and and uh, I encourage you to meet and network with the local uh, Bureau of Safe Game Boys and Game Girls. Collaboration is an important part of the growing uh, industry. That's why the uh, BD government has funded this conference to the tune of $90,000 and back. This conference provides the perfect opportunity to start forging those connections and relationships that will no doubt lead to the development of even more innovative and exciting projects. It's great to see that the uh, GDAA has incorporated a careers market uh, into the conference aimed at uh, your prospective future workforce. And so to you, the uh, school uniforms down the front, uh, you're the future. It's great to see. Without a steady stream of skilled professionals joining the ranks, uh, Australia's games industry faces the very real risk of losing momentum uh, that has generated in the most recent years. This government is very concerned about the uh, slide of university enrolments in ICT courses. Uh, it's imperative that uh, industry and government work together to address the 
looming skills shortage before it impacts the thriving industry. That's why the Queensland Government uh, has also hosted a national ICT skills summit in June this year and uh, World's ICT uh, Careers Start Program. So uh, keep an eye on those events. The program is just uh, ICT industry organisations to promote ICT careers and uh, conduct ICT career events and conduct schools of excellence and uh, summer holiday camps, etc. My thanks to GDAA for doing its bit to engage secondary and tertiary students <coughs> and the parents, teachers and career counsellors and uh, open their eyes to new careers in this very, very dynamic field. Believe me, it's uh, uh, in all our interests, economic and entertainment, to promote ICT careers to our future game developers. With more than 40 sessions, a comprehensive technical program ahead of uh, you all at this conference. Uh, I don't envy you well in terms of how busy you will be. Uh, but if you find yourself with some free time, obviously, especially the uh, interstate and overseas visitors, I highly recommend you get out and uh, have a look at the Scrub City and the best part of Wednesday. But before you uh, get ahead of yourselves, allow me to please officially declare the game against Asia Pacific Conference 2006. Thanks again. Thank you very much.